I use the WatchPad for two main reasons. One, I use it for patients uh, who call the office who may have been told that they snore or have, uh, they stop breathing at night, and I'll use that as a screening tool to rule out severe upper airway disturbance. If they do come in and I use the watch pad in that situation and they do show that they have a, a significant problem, then I'm going to make a referral for that patient. For my current patients who I'm using uh, with treatment, oral appliance therapy, I'm using it as a titration monitor. And what I mean by that is the patient will, uh, will have uh, self-adjusted the appliance for several weeks to a month based on subjective symptoms. And then I'll send them home with the watch pad for a more conclusive evaluation of how their oxygen is, what their apnea uh, index is, and respiratory disturbance index. Basically, I, I will send the patient home in one, uh, one night for use, again, once their subjective symptoms have improved. And if uh, we still haven't gotten uh, achieved an ideal respiratory disturbance index, I actually will send them home again with a, a watch pad some, uh, sometime in the future after that first visit. It is absolutely a friend. Uh, without, without them, I don't have patients, and without me, they have a huge compliance issue and a huge uh, liability on their part that uh, is not being met. Uh, we really, I think, support our local sleep labs by sending them our patients back for follow-up testing, again, under a strict protocol that I use based on Academy of Dental Sleep Medicine and the uh, American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine.